Uh, so we're about to go to the Billy Goat Tavern, which is where the uh, Cubs curse allegedly started, from what I've heard, if Wikipedia is accurate. And by Wikipedia, I meant my drunk neighbor. I'm just kidding, I don't have a house. And yeah, like I said, we're here at Billy Goat Tavern. We are here at Billy Goat Tavern, where the whole thing went down, where the curse was created, allegedly, we don't know, where the SNL skit started, where I mean, just, if you could see Squeezy Jim right now, I've never seen him more enthusiastic. Other than Tax Day, that guy is through the roof about it. He loves it, can't get enough of it. Jumps around, does all kinds of crazy shit. So, we're gonna check it out. One of the best burgers I've had all day. Here we go, it's happening. Cheers. And uh, Squeezy Jim gets some kind of steak sandwich. So, we'll figure it out. Considering the rustic decor of this place, the bathroom was very modern and spacious, which is kind of strange. For Chicago. More to follow. Look at all this history, all this history all over the years, all the people have been here. Everyone from Joe Pilato to uh, Theodore Roosevelt. Um, oh my god, David Letterman? They even have my ex-wife. Eventually we're gonna go up there, but not yet. Someone finally matched with me, and he's holding the camera. So here we are, downtown Cleveland, Ohio, taking a check a look at this place. Is this it? Yep. Nope. All right, the true reason that any true fan of Cleveland goes to Cleveland, Ohio, John T. Chicago. May he rip in peace. He saved all those children from that fire many years ago. What do you have to say about this? I've never more been with Fuck it. I'm fucking no. Chicago looks up to. The signature room on the 96th floor featured lunch and dinner daily, award-winning Sunday brunch, and private events. The signature lounge on the 96th floor lets you enjoy cocktails and appetizers with sweeping views of the city. Oh, you're here. Welcome back. We're just about to go get a drink at the 96th floor. Right? Yes. And what a lot of people don't realize is the 96th floor, it's one more floor above 95, so keep that in mind. Do you see that? That guy is double parked right now. You see Portage from here. Uh, home of uh, such movies as There's Always Vanilla. Right over here. You want to see this. Don't look at me. Look at this. Look at this. If you look right here, you won't believe what I'm saying. A Blackberry Collins. You see that? That's terrible. That's crazy. You never see a you never see a sight like this. You, you can't see that back home. So while we're waiting for the elevator, Louis Big Notes, please give us a brief review. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, I'd recommend it to anyone that uh, has an Amazon Prime card. Anyone that has one of those, you'll love it. So, where are we going for dinner? We're going to the place that Rich Evans, Chicago native, suggested that you go for dinner for one very specific thing. Oh, Biggs? We're going for pizza. Let's check a look. So here we are at Pizzeria Uno, a historic landmark in Cleveland, Ohio. And Louis Big Nose is going to tell us a nice story. So. If you could hit us with the honors. 
So every time I eat pizza, I'm reminded of a, of a guy who couldn't be here to have pizza with us. And I was once at a pizzeria very similar to the one we're at now, and a gentleman came in, and he loved the pizza, he thought it was great. Uh, it's a place called, uh, a local chain called Masio's. And while he was there, he saw a um, neon sign that said Masio's. And he proceeded to lick his fingers and without any warning, grabs the neon sign up front. And it shocked him and he fell backwards. I'm afraid to say that he made it. And he now has kids. Uh, there are more of those genes out and about in this world. Uh, moral of the story is up for you to decide. Back to you, Mike. Unfortunately, Monkey Mike, or Maurice the Monkey Man, is not here today. Instead, you got Squeezy Jim. More to follow.